Oh, what's up, everybody? Y'all don't join that. Hey. Oh, Hey Siobhan, is is it Siobhan or Sh I, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Yeah, is it I'm glad you could join though, mommy. Yes, come through, peace. Seriously, you beautiful. Shalom, how are you? Hi, I was am still on journey. Okay, all right, cool. That's cool. That is cool. And actually, actually, I've spoken to her before, so she knows that I was. She's had a consultation with me. She knows like what I was about and how I was on my stuff. So I'm glad. I'm glad a bunch of people up in here that, that I've talked with and that knows. Eager to learn. Yeah, mommy. We definitely gotta, you know, I just I feel responsible mm -hmm. because again, I've made several I made a lot. I made my my career wasn't pushing veganism, however, I did do it. You know what I mean? And so I just felt like for me. The same kind of hard I went trying to save people, I had to go that much harder. Letting y'all know I didn't, I, I wasn't, letting y'all know that this wasn't what I thought it was in my, you know, our test. We all gonna talk, all of our tests shows that, you know, so. All right, well, yeah. is everybody here? Are we all on? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. we're good. Okay, let's cool. get it on. Right. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, yeah. You guys, first, before we <laughs> even do any introductions, before we do yes. the disclaimers and everything like that, let's just, let's just invite the creative force of all things to, to move through us, to speak through us, and to allow our message for the culture of purpose and to wake our people up out of this... You can call it, like they say in the church, a lie from the pit of hell, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waking these people up out of this false belief and this destructive yes. diet. And being a supremacy. All right. Mode it be. All right. Yes. So, we're going to start with the disclaimers, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um. So... I'm going to kind of go through this pretty quick because it's kind of lengthy, okay? <clears throat> Can y'all hear me clearly? Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. Okay. <laughs> Herbs, okay? Disclaimers, okay? And also, too, this, these disclaimers go for anything we push moving forward, okay? So this is standard through here on out. So comments that come on this video or after, I advise for you to listen to the disclaimers before you make a comment, okay? We are open to everybody's opinions. You're entitled to that, but please listen to the disclaimers, okay? Now, herbs do heal and are for the healings of the nation. We are not saying that herbs do not heal, okay? We're not saying that. Different bodies require different modalities, okay? All healing is not standardized. Everybody has different DNA, different environments, stress levels, traumas, accessibility, sustainability, sustainability, location, and illnesses, okay? That is different for so many people. The vegan diet does not heal everyone. There are false programmings being pushed that the vegan diet alone is the cure-all and be-all. That is not true. Plants and herbs can cause health issues due to chemical compositions and the person, depending on what she or he has going on, and this is beyond being just a plant-based person or beyond just someone saying, oh, you need to stay away from hybrid plants. It's beyond that, okay? We are not promoting processed chemical or hormones, hormones, being induced and put into meats and dairies. We're not pushing those type of meats and dairies in our messages, okay? We're not pushing that. So don't take it as if, oh, yeah, you just eat meat and you just eat the processed delis and milks and all that stuff. We're not pushing that, okay? There are many illusions in the field of health and nutrition. Quality, quantity, accessibility, sustainability, food chemistry, and food history has to be a part of the health discussion. 
one can have knowledge of healing and herbs without going to school. No one is knocking earth and ancestral knowledge. However, one who has the knowledge of the earth, herbs, ancestral knowledge, and book knowledge, i.e. going to school, is a powerful person. Their works cannot be pushed off as they are just disregarded because they went to school, because they went to a Western school and that's the white man's knowledge, okay? We are anthropologists, okay? We are not armchair anthropologists. Look up the definitions. <laughs> Personalized healing should be held up to high regards, just as all of the standardized healing, especially the propaganda that's going on currently. Veganism minus processed veganism is good for cleansing purposes, but if you are not seeing any results from the vegan diet, especially if you are a vegan long-term, then this discussion is for you. We are also bringing in the discussion of introducing animal products back into your diet. Going vegan does not heal all womb issues, especially women of color. I'm going to get on that really heavy, okay? Yes. Healing, healing is a multi-layer thing beyond just changing one's diet. We know so many sisters and brothers suffering in silence due to being vegan and not knowing where to turn. Many are dealing with body dysmorphia and cannot see their body breaking down their fat and their muscle loss, estrogen loss and testosterone loss, and other hormonal loss. Yes, ma'am. I'm almost done, y'all. Go ahead. The, con <laughs> excuse me, the, constant <laughs> the constant popularity of veganism in the businesses that many of your favorite IG vegan influencers, health gurus, and so-called master teachers they are also suffering or have suffered from the vegan diet and they are eating eggs, dairy, fish, and other meat behind the scenes at which they have not nor still are not transparent with the community about. We're going to talk about that. I've seen and still see benefits and are content with those and you're wanting to stay vegan. That is okay. This message may not be for you. Okay. If you have only been vegan for such a short time and you are trying to get crazy in the comments or anything else, etc., trying to defend our truths and messages when you think you are an expert, even though you are a baby in the game, these messages are not for you. And I got two last ones real quick, okay? And they're like, damn, but we, we got we to gotta, we gotta put it out there. We are still students, okay? The people that are speaking here, we are still students. We do not claim to be master teachers. I don't think that we desire that title either or the illusions that come from that. We are expressing our findings, our experiments, our ex experiences, and truths. And since those things are a part of everybody's birthright, everyone everywhere and such, in regards to the personal truths, those things cannot be thrown out the window, okay? Our truths still have substance. Please do with the information what you will, but we do, we do not and will not tolerate any disrespect. We respect, re respect everyone and their opinions. Just make sure you check your ego, your insecurities, and any other fragile shit at the door. The last message I want to say is, Rest in peace to the healers and the ancestors who helped bring the knowledge of healing to us as them, along with ourselves and others, are doing the best that we can. I'll show you. That's it. Let's get it. Hey, one second. The person <laughs> you, <gonna Hey>. <laughs> you said what now? Somebody, somebody said, and the beat dropped perfectly. Okay. Y'all, yeah, didn't it? Thanks. It was perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So we're going to start with um, talking about our credentials because we want you guys to know you know, what gives us the right to be able to speak about it. And uh, we want you to know. So let's start with Miss Karen Boone, and then we're going to go to Mr. Adam, and then I'll, I'll go and we'll get into it. Yes, yeah, so hello, everybody. My name is Karen Boone. I go by Miss Boone. And I am a nutritionist by academia. I have my BS, Bachelor's of Science, in Nutrition. And I'm currently in grad school at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock for health and education promotion. Okay. In addition to these things, I also have 11 years behind me being a herbalist. Okay. 
I have done a lot of grass uh, root uh, work in the community. I've had my business live love for natural LLC for about six years, offering nutrition consultations, nutrition services, astrology services. I'm a baby astrologer in the game, tapping into medical astrology, whatever you need. I got it. I came out with a documentary about five years ago called The Post-Traumatic Slave Diet. It was 100% self-invested by myself and two other people. You can catch that on YouTube. Had to take it down. We had hit a million views, okay? We had to take it down and re-upload it. And it has a lot of your favorites in it, okay? I did this five, almost six years ago, okay? So I'm out here. That's mm -hmm. all I say. Oh, and, and I forage too. I forage. I'm a forager. So I'm out in the wild finding herbs and finding medicine and making medicine out of the things that I find. Mm -hmm. So that's it about me. Okay. All right. Let's turn. Go ahead, Mr. Adam. All go. right. My name is Adam. Uh, I own Burton Training. I'm a holistic nutritionist, herbalist, personal trainer, master trainer, strength conditioning coach, herbalist. Uh, I mostly work with women who have got a lot of medical conditions. And a lot of them have been vegan, plant-based. Uh, run marathon, you name it. So I'm pretty versatile. And that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. All right. And myself, my name is Joan Gil Maria, traditionally known as Pusa Dami Lola. And I was vegan for about six years. And I trained. Um, I was a biomechanics practitioner. I still practice biomechanics <laughs> just on myself. I no longer train other people. And um, I had clients. So that means that I had to help people move better without pain. And I also utilize the uh, plant-based ideology with my clients. Um, even though not every one of my clients was plant-based, obviously I had to customize uh, for them. However, I have the uh, case studies. I had to show documented proof of video um, as well as document what my clients were eating and show, that, show their progression in their gait cycle, which is how they run, how they walk, how they move. So that's my credentials, and um, this is how we're able to come to you and give you this, this show today, all right? So we're going to go ahead and go into it. I know you guys saw that the title of this show is called Veganism, the New Crack in the Black Community. Why, though? <laughs> Why would that be the title, right? People think I'm going too hard with that one, but, but this is the thing, guys. Listen, the reason why the title is veganism is a new crack in the black community is because what happened in the 80s with crack a bunch of people got rich but the community was destroyed mm -hmm. speak on okay. it real not only that yeah. but generations were affected after that were affected after that they were impacted heavily after that all right and a lot of the the, the craziness we see today is a direct result of that so the reason why this is likened to that is because the same thing is happening. Okay, myself and Miss Boone specifically being behind the scenes on a lot of these these vegan gurus that people like, these wellness gurus, these these chefs, these celebrity coaches, all these people, knowing them behind the scenes, a lot of them before they even blew up like that, really knowing what they're like. You guys, the reality is they are hustling you all for money. They don't know half the things that they say they do. They just re repeat and regurgitate information, okay? They really don't do any scientific testing, no case studies, nothing. These people are entrepreneurs, as Mr. Omar said. These people are entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. They are not healers. And we have to be able to see the difference between that. And not yep. only that, the women and the men that are going vegan and then having children you are affecting your generation after you on some ish mm -hmm. that you really don't even have facts that work like that beyond your placebo affecting your mind. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. We are. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about these misconceptions about veganism because I know for myself, when I first went vegan, I was like, Oh, I'm purposing to be a higher being. I want to touch my highest mm -hmm. self and you know, all this. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's like, yeah, that's cool. However, did I need to be vegan to do that? Now I know I didn't. However, a lot of the indoctrination that happens, we, and yeah, you're right, they're not professionals. A lot of the indoctrination that happens is us doing it to ourselves, spending all day on YouTube, reading everybody books and lectures, and then have the audacity to say, you train under, under Dr. Sabin, you train under Dr. Lila Africa, 
and all you've done is read their books and watched their lectures and indoctrinated yourself. So let's get into the misconceptions about veganism. The floor is open. Whoever want to go for it. <clears throat> what are some of the misconceptions about veganism? Plants contain everything. Yeah, they give you, plants contain every vitamin that you need. Plants contain every vitamin that you need. And you know what? People say that all the time. Oh, you can get B12. You can get vitamin A. You can get mm -hmm. iron. Tell mm -hmm. them a little bit more about that. Uh, well, we can start with vitamin A. because that's, that's something that's very common. A lot of people think you can get from plants. But no plant has vitamin A. All plants have beta carotene. Try to argue with it and convert, but hell, it's, on, it's only so absorbable, I and mean, it only breaks beta carotene only breaks down so much for you to be for it to be absorbed into vitamin A. And mm -hmm. again, you need other factors. You need fat. You need mm -hmm. thyroid hormones. You need enzymes. You need a vitamin E. You know, it's just you can't just take beta carotene by itself and then think mm -hmm. it's just going to make that transformation. It doesn't work like that. So you mean to tell me, because I know y'all seen those memes before where it's like, you got a, a, a bowl of broccoli and then you got a steak and they're like, there's 22 grams of, of, of protein in broccoli and if you get the same amount of protein in this broccoli that you do in the steak, you know? And yeah. people will be like, see, you don't need meat. You can get everything from plants. Well, the they'll be like, well, it's bro broccoli is 22% protein. <laughs> or they'll be like, broccoli is 30% protein, but broccoli only 40 calories a cup. <laughs> so it's easy for it to be 22% when the calories are only 40 I mean you know and yeah but 22% of 40 is only like what 6 six grams yes. so the percentage you know they try to use percentage but the percentage mm -hmm. is small because the total calorie is different right right and, and, to, and to mention the fact that you know, people always say, oh, well, we don't need a middleman. Why would you go to the middleman? Because everybody always says this, and I just say it. The animals eat the plants. Well, the reality is we don't have five stomachs, and we don't throw up in our mouths and chew on there all day. <laughs> and it's, I mean, speak, speaking of the plant and the animal thing, I mean, plants get their nutrients from animals. Dogs, cows, they poop everywhere, yes. you know, yep. and you have to get, that's how, that's how the soil gets its nutrients. So, exactly. Without animals, there can be, there won't be, there wouldn't be as many plants. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. You know, yes. they don't understand. Yeah, and and two, I just want to add this last little bit. Um, you know, when it comes to um your body being able to absorb, that is so multi layered. A lot of us don't even have the proper enzymes. Right. Okay to even digest the food properly, let alone absorb it because they're missing. Like he was saying, you got to have these other vitamin and other mineral components in order for that one vitamin or that one mineral to be absorbed. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. have all these particular factors. That's why in the disclaimers, I had mentioned, you know, some things can work at a general level, right? But when you get to the depths of certain things, we have to get out of the standardization of things, okay? Because it's so multi-layer and it's not just one thing. A lot of a lot of people will say, Oh, well, you you can't digest your food because of this one thing, or you need to clean your colon. Yeah. Not knowing you may be having some stress issues. Your um thyroid, I mean, it's so the endocrine system is so versed. It's it's not just one thing for everybody dealing with you know, issues with digesting their food. Mm -hmm. it, it's just so multi-layered. And so I say all that to say is that going back to what the brother said, a lot of the times you're needing to eat a lot of these plant-based foods, okay, to get a certain amount of whatever you're looking for. And, mm -hmm. and like you were saying, just like how companies can put natural on products and it's not regulated, percentages, all different types of wor wording are used to deceive you as if it's, as if things are equal when they're not. Right. And a lot of the times, in addition to that, some things need to be in the raw state for you to consume. Plant-based is best for absorption. And then some things need to be cooked mm -hmm. down a lot. And then the quantity of it, the quality <clears throat> and the quantity. Because a lot of the times, a lot of us, we're getting stuff from places we don't know where we're getting it from. We don't know the growing practices. Going back to what the sister said, B12, that's soil composition. 
stuff. We don't know these things. So when you are going to buy supplements and you're saying, oh, it says B12, but do you know that the FDA, they have thousands upon thousands of, of companies that they have to, to um, go to investigate to make sure that their labels are correct. They have to go and pay thousands upon thousands of dollars to get two, one, two, three different testing them by different labs. And on top of that, if if you have vitamin B12, go look on the back of it. You'll see in parentheses, it's going to say cyanocobalamin. Or it's going to say methylcobalamin, which, I mean, they both synthetic. It's not like you're getting the real thing. Dang. Dang, man. Yep. That that's part the too. thing. People aren't even educated to that degree. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, the majority of people went vegan because of a documentary on Netflix or mm -hmm. somebody told them about it and you know, they, they attach their personal journey of, of self-evolution um, to a diet. You, you know what I'm saying? But they're, they're not educated to know that, oh, you know, if you see this, this is happening. Or have you considered that maybe you can't get all the nutrients, you know, like, like, like this mm -hmm. is what I'm saying, absorption is an issue. You know, yeah. uh, in, in biomechanics, the, the your ability to be able to have proper a rib cage expansion really helps you to be able to even digest your food a proper mm -hmm. if you can't mm -hmm. if your rib cage is is significantly compressed then your your uh your intestines which operates with a pump that same systolic and diastolic mm -hmm. your heart goes through you won't even be able to move your food it won't move it'll just stay stagnant and then it's the same thing for women with cramps and fibroids and things like that yes. you know so it's other factors that that go into people's nutrition and their ability to absorb foods. Whereas, you know, people are just thinking, Oh, I, you know, I just need to eat plants. And pl like, like mm -hmm. some sisters said, uh, plants are the healthiest diet. But the reality is majority of the people are not trained to be able to even create that kind of result. They just believe because of what other people have said to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they don't actually know that because when I ask them, well, what is your methodology? They can't even tell me. They just say, oh, well, it's right for me. And then mm -hmm. I have to say, well, that's not science because science says, science says that if you, he'll be back on um, uh, in, in a second, guys, but science says if you are uh, testing something, mm -hmm. you have to repeat that test. Yeah. You can't, and, and like the sister said, you have to repeat it through several different variables. You can't just say, that it works for me and so it works. That's not yep. how that goes. You know? Uh Adam, if you can if you can just come back in on the chat. I, I can't for some reason I can't see you. Uh, but yeah, so I mean Okay, yeah. So I I mean I, I don't understand why people don't really uh you're right, it is multifaceted. It's not just mm -hmm. so cut and dry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to I'm just purposing to get Adam back in here, guys. However, um, you're back. I can't even, I can't. The magic of capitalistic propaganda is the product in question does everything, every, anything for you. Don't need to, yeah, yeah. And that's another thing too. You know, it, it takes a lot of money, you guys. Like, I've talked to people. It takes thousands, like, it's so expensive. It is so expensive to get proper lab testing <clears throat> on yeah. supplemental products. Because they're dietary supplements. It you know, you have certain words that you can't use as far as like curing and stuff like that. But as far as everything everything else goes, like you can put whatever you want to put in there unless you know you get audited or something somehow. But the FDA has thousands upon thousands of cases. And I'm not saying the FDA is like the holy grail. Because as we know, everybody has character flaws. Okay. Everybody has positives, everybody has negatives. The same applies to the FDA. I'm sure they got some sane people, what have you, work, you know, they're trying their best, but then they also have some flaws. So once again, it's about doing what you need to do and using the information to where you can benefit so you can continue to grow and not become stagnant or just one-sided or get stuck in illusions based off of one little piece of information. Exactly. Let's go into this mm -hmm. mucus list, this mucus-free diet, though. Let's Let's talk about that. People, people, people promote, and and they say this out yep. of their mouth that mucus is the cause of every disease, and then people say that, uh, you know, as long as you just get rid of the mucus, you know, you'll be healthy. <laughs> 
you know and, and and it makes sense when you don't know anything mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying when you haven't tested it yep it mm -hmm. makes sense because you're just like oh okay well one plus one is two but then it's like well when you know that your vaginal canal as a woman must have mucus when you know that your mouth that must have mucus when you know that your stomach line your uh, intestines must have mucus it's yep. like your eyeballs it's like yeah hold up <laughs> How is mucus, how is the thing we need? Mucus is the first line of defense against, uh, yes. against you know, uh, attack when it comes to toxins and pathogens. How is that and you, then the demon? And you also need vitamin A for that too. You need vitamin, yeah. My bad, y'all, I'm just getting my light right, okay. <laughs> you know, so you, you go ahead, you were saying yeah. you need vitamin A? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, all, for, uh, for, for like for you're saying, mucus in the mucus vagina mucus. and all, like, you need vitamin A. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. For mucus yeah. membranes, yeah. Uh, yeah. your nose, like, you need vitamin A for all that. Yes, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's like, I, I've known people who, you know, they dedicate companies to cleansing out mucus. They, they dedicate their practice to cleansing out mucus in people. And, and literally will be like, I can't understand why every time I try to cleanse the mucus, more comes back and it's like because your body's trying to save you <laughs> yeah <laughs> right from dying <laughs> you know what i'm yeah, saying it's a, but it's a natural we response indoctrinated and we indoctrinate ourselves yeah. exactly it's your but yeah yeah you, you were saying go go ahead Oh, no, I was just saying that's a natural response. I mean, obviously, you don't want too much of anything is bad, but I mean, you can't right. have zero mucus, you know. Exactly. You know, and, and the thing, the thing, the thing is to, the thing is, is that, okay, look, when your body is purposing to get rid of toxins, mucus is what it utilizes in order to enclose those toxins. And then you can push it out either, you know, either, either way, the orifice, mm -hmm. okay? And so it's like, okay, well, if you then put somebody through a quote unquote detox and then they push out some some mucus or whatever that was housing those toxins and now they feel better to the initially you could say oh well it was because i got rid of the mucus but as you do more testing you start to see that no it was because you got rid of the toxins that the mucus was protecting you from it mm -hmm. wasn't because you got rid of the mucus yep you know what yep. i'm saying mm -hmm. and that's why science is so important when i say science i literally mean a person's ability to observe with their eye ask test. questions, gather information, and then test. And then once you get a result, you retest. And you have to account for those variables. You know what I'm yep. saying? Majority of people, they go, well, I was vegan for three months, and God damn it, I'm going to do it for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now you're an evangelist, and you got a vegan company detoxing people and, and parroting what Dr. Sabian and Dr. Lila Africa said. Yep. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Let's talk about raw food, though, real quick. What, what about raw food? Because people <laughs> will say, oh, it's more electric, so it has more enzymes, and, you know, <laughs> you're doing it wrong because you ate cooked food. Well, I mean, cooked or not, there's still certain vitamins you can't get from plants. Cooked, broiled, grilled, <laughs> right. sauteed. I mean, chilled. It don't. It don't matter how you consume it. It, it contains what it contains. You know, that's just right, in it. Exactly. You know, uh, you, I mean, uh, being electric doesn't matter if you're missing a vitamin. I mean, like, if let's say if you alkaline and super electric, low, that that does you no good at all. You might as well. I mean, right. It's the same thing. You can't be out here alkaline and missing the nutrient. You can't be out here healthy and missing the nutrient. It don't. It don't work like that. No. Respectfully. There, there is no electricity if you can't function. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, that there's a slight, a slight, a tiny little delay. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I was like, I'm trying to. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt then. No, mommy, please go ahead, interrupt because I want you to. I want you to get it in. Go ahead. It's okay. Um, it's okay. So yeah, so so I don't. I don't think I mentioned, but I was vegan for ten years. Okay. And out of those ten years, I was a raw foodist for one year. It was good cleansing wise, but 
sustaining on a raw diet? No. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't know where I don't know where that that uh that push came in regards to that being a standard um and something that could sustain you for the rest of your life especially eating all of that fruit mm. causing so many issues um to your teeth to your um just pretty much uh, everything um and i think the so underlying the comment. okay um let me say this let me say this real quick i think i think the underlying thing um is that a lot of trauma is being used to manipulate a lot of black people and because we're dealing with so many different insecurities different hurts different body traumas okay a lot of body dysmorphia like mm. i mentioned in the plan above uh before a lot of us are dealing with all of these things and these people are able to use these false illusionary messages to, to give you like false hope, literally like politicians, literally like politicians in the health game. Mm -hmm. And we get stuck on these things thinking that they're going to be an overnight fix. Number one, thinking that they're going to fix everything, every shadow aspect, because everybody's my shadow work, shadow work. <laughs> we think if we go vegan or if we go on these extreme vegan type diets, mm -hmm. That that is going to cure all the bullshit you don't put yourself through. Mm. That's going to heal all the, all the heartbreaks, all the pains, all the trust issues, how you feel about yourself and your lack of confidence. All these things, these psychological, emotional things, what your mama did, uh, how your grandma raised your mama and how that passed the generational curses. We think if we go vegan, <laughs> we think that that's going to fix all of that shit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And 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 the reason why I say that is because you know I've talked about this before, and I I, I got to bring up the astrology for any of my astrologists out there. People have been using the planets, okay, to their advantage. I'm gonna say this really quick. Pisces is the planet of illusions, okay. Neptune, planet of illusions, okay. Mm -hmm. That energy has been prominent around the world, especially within black people, okay? And people have been using that to feed you, literally, a fake Hollywood. Like, literally, a lot of the black conscious community is another sector of a black Hollywood. Yeah. Let's go. And those particular things are literally bleeding into the health game, okay, to the health community, and people are using that to their advantage. Okay? Mm-hmm. People are, they are literally becoming millionaires, okay, based on playing on your emotional string, playing on, playing on some spiritual truths, but spiritual truths that they have wrapped in with their own ideology, and then they're spinning that back out to you, okay? Yeah. And so with that being said, in conjunction with trying to mix ancestral knowledge in the mix, when we know that that's popular and that's something that we're all trying to get back to, they it's it's a constant pull and and when you get in those moments of questioning, this is the one this is one thing. Oh, whew, come through, spirit. We talk so much shit about Christianity, <laughs> but we are literally doing the exact same physical, psychological, emotional, and spiritual methodologies that we be talking shit about the Christians doing. Mm -hmm. You guys, you guys are not questioning these teachers. You're not questioning them, or not when you all. or when you question them, you question them to yourself. You don't speak about it. Oh no, because they have this huge following. Because they've touched shoulders with this master teacher and this master teacher, and they wrote this book. Did it, and can't nobody question them? They walk and look as if they're with the ancestral spirits. Like I said, and using using all that energy, and they look literally sheep's and wool clothing. Yep. Okay, even in the health community. So, so what I'm gonna leave this at this. What I want for you guys to do is to break out the illusion. 
your body is a God intelligence, most high, whatever you want to term it to be. It is an intelligence. You cannot take someone else's ideology and methodology. If, it, if it's not right for your temple, your temple is a church. You're taking somebody else's God information and trying to apply it to your temple and your church. And when, and when the real you is questioning that shit, you begin to fight yourself internally. Yes. That's what we got to get out of. And that's all I'm going to say, because I can talk on that forever. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was pretty thorough. Yeah, no, I mean, she, she's absolutely right. And Adam, go ahead, feel free to. No, I mean, hey, I, <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say after that. <laughs> nah, she, no, she but, hit it. but the thing is, though, the thing is, is though, you have this combination again, like we, we said it earlier, you have this combination of people who, and it's not to put anybody down, it's just to say that people do not have the skill set that is necessary to actually set, they don't, they don't know, they don't, they don't see. So, so when someone comes in front of them and says, hey, do this and do that like you said they don't ask questions they just say oh okay mm -hmm. you know yep. I'll, I'll do this and i'll do that they, they nothing and and they will doubt themselves when their yep. body begins to get tired and they're by and they can't do what they've been doing and they don't have energy anymore and now they're having depressive thoughts and now your life is starting to and so you they begin to uh create a uh uh uh, an association between the shadow work or them needing to do the work of, of them being better people with yep. Uh, oh, well, this is my vegan journey and veganism is bringing me all this. And it's like, no, like you're, 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 you're associating two things that, that don't have to go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? You're making them go hand in hand. And then, so, so that already makes their, their questioning, like it, it dumbs it down. And then, you know, they're able to receive and then they further indoctrinate themselves with YouTube. You know what yep. I'm saying? And these mm -hmm. Facebook groups talking about be alkaline and alkaline your body. And, and it's like, well, if I alkaline my body, I will die. What part of that don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How can you alkaline your body? When I think that's what somebody just asked in the comments. They was like, uh, uh, yep. hold on, let me see what they asked. The question that she was talking about? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Oh, please touch on how it's impossible to make one's body alkaline. I mean, honestly, that's that word is such a a broad term now. Mm -hmm. You know, people using it for all type of meaning. I don't even know what it means in the real sense no more. What that means? Just eating vegetables. I mean, <laughs> your body can your body can live off anything. We're talking about like thriving though. I mean, if you want right. to eat broccoli all day for like ninety days, you probably you mean you stay alive. But I mean, you probably feel terrible. You know, right. so yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, when they say alkaline, they'll say, oh, okay, well, let me be very clear. When when people say I eat alkaline food, they really are just parroting what other people have said. They don't really know either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't know. What they will say is, oh, well, it means you don't eat acid-forming foods like meat and processed food. It's like we all know processed food is trash. Let's stop pretending like, you know, we're talking about eat processed food. We're not. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And so, uh, again, with the whole alkaline thing, people just think that, oh, we're going to, you know, you, you got to be raw, vegan, alkaline, plant-based, whole foods, Martian type. It's like, what are y'all even talking about? You don't yeah. even know. And yeah. as someone said, it's, it comes from doing a shallow form of research. You know what? It's not even just a shallow form of research. They do not apply. They do not test. This is what I'm saying. So we got another question. Test it. You said what? We yeah. got another question. Oh. I was going to answer this question real quick. It's a good like, question, though. This is a good question, though. What is that? Um, what's go ahead. No. Uh, what's y'all reasoning behind people recovering from deadly health issues by going on a yeah. street vegan diet? So that's, that's, diet. All I was gonna, that's what I was going to speak on. Okay, so look. <laughs> look, y'all see this right here. This is what we really... First, people talk about being in balance. That applies to every damn thing, Okay. We know as black people, not even black, it's so layered. For a lot of Americans, we know the standard American diet is terrible, okay? So if we're looking at a pendulum, that's going to be extreme on this, this end, right? Right. Okay? Right. This is the, the middle point, right? The sad diet is over here. 
Somebody. That's extreme. Okay. For people who become vegan and go on fasting, it's gonna breathe them. It's gonna bring that extreme of being on the bullshit back to the medium. That's why I said in the I said that in the disclaimer. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why there's layers to it. We're not saying that plants do not heal. They do heal. We're not saying herbs do not heal. We are talking about sustainability, people being in illusions, X, Y, Z. Someone in, on a standard American or any, any diet that is too extreme, they're going to meet like somebody who's dealing with cancer, somebody who's dealing with extreme issues, right? Yes, it will be good for them. Juice and smoothie, all that stuff. Okay, yeah, but there's still layers to it because <clears> all plants <throat> And fruits are not equal. Okay? So that's multi-layer. It's mm -hmm. going to bring them right here. Okay? Now, if you get too extreme, right, doing the juice and being vegan for a long time, that's going to bring you from this middle equilibrium, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to bring you onto the other side of the extreme. Libra. This is a lot of Libra energy, too. It's going to bring you on this extreme. It's just like baking soda. Mm -hmm. It's just like the acidity and alkalinity line. You have shit that's mm -hmm. way too acidic, and you yeah. got shit that's way too alkaline. Even yeah. though it's alkaline, this is science, y'all. It's simple. Even though shit is too alkaline, that shit can burn a hole in your body. <laughs> and if you're listen. still too alkaline, it can do that. So basically, we're talking about the middle ground. You're too you're too extreme being vegan for a long time, and it's it's not sustaining you. You've gone too over on this extreme. It's all about the equilibrium. That's what we're talking about. Go, go ahead, brother. I ain't going to cut you off. No, no, it's cool. Uh, so, I mean, it's also important to know how they was eating before they started going vegan, too. Basically, exactly. is what she's saying. I mean, you got to understand how the average person grew up. We, wasn't, we didn't grow up, you know, eating a balanced meal. You ate what, what, what you know, what your mama or whoever would take care of you could afford. Mm -hmm. So, let's say if you go from eating, drinking Gatorades all day, partying every weekend, eating fast food, and then all of a sudden you switch to eating vegetables, of course you're going to feel better. Yeah. <laughs> That's just common yeah. sense. We don't know yeah. how they was eating before that even got them mm -hmm. to that point in the first place. Right. So mm -hmm. when you say that they hear, they got here from vegan, okay, we're not saying that you can't go vegan for a short period of time. We're talking about mm -hmm. living the rest of your life on it. That's completely different. Yes. Yes, sir. And it's so important. It's like, okay, what people don't really, uh, and, and Weston A. Price does talk about this, and I reference it so much because he did he went to every continent besides Antarctica. He went to every continent and connected to, and Western A. Price was this uh, dentist mm -hmm. uh, in like the 1920s. He went to every continent and found the most remote, the most isolated yep. tribes, and he studied them, and he took pictures of them, and he wrote down what he found, and he found robust, healthy people. They didn't have cavities. They were happy. They didn't have fighting amongst themselves. Like, they, these people were, like, the epitome of what we all purpose to do, mm -hmm. right? People were taller, too. Did you hear about uh, the Indians? Yes. Uh, they, they, they hunted on foot, you know, they, yes. with spears. They, they, could, they could outrun buffalo. Yes. I mean, you know, they were strong, you know, limber, you know, they were like, what, seven feet tall, I think. Yes. So, I mean, you know, just things were just a lot different. It was a lot different. And and what he found was, what he found was that when he took the, when he took the recordings of everybody, he saw that everybody who ate to their native diet, which included meats, and some of them majority meat, mm -hmm. they, they had no problems. <clears throat> they were living long age. They had no problems. No but tooth decay. No yep. tooth decay. Brain deformity, no none brain deformity, none of that. Perfect jaw structure. Perfect. Nice Another thing too, I want to speak. Speaking of that, I got to speak on that too with the go with ahead, the vegan right. thing. After you go plant based or vegan for so long, yeah, that inner jaw it starts to narrow. That jaw line starts to narrow down. You start right. to get that little V. So yeah. you know, just start paying attention to that. You know, with with, with people. Yeah. Yeah. It happened to me. The way your face is shaped. Yep, looking like it had a giraffe neck, honey. Looking like a motherfucking giraffe. About to, like I'm about to open. I was looking like a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's 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 ridiculous. And, and so what he found was they were healthy. Okay, they were healthy. Nothing was wrong with them. What happened was when he, yeah, we are messing this life. Um, so we are saving this life. What happened was when their children, when their children went to the cities. Mm. This, was, this was a white man who said this. He said, when their children went to the cities and ate the white man's food, which was processed foods, 
they began to have deformities, teeth crowding. They began to have problems with their bones. They began to have uh, one leg, like, I mean, deformities. it was crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their jaws were no longer forming narrow noses. I mean, you had you had people who, you know, white people, and they had, they had thick noses, the ones that were eating their ancestral diet. And guess what? Butter and things like that, the organs, they, they used to give that to the pregnant women because it was considered to be the highest nutrient content. And they wanted them to carry. And everybody in the tribe understood the pregnant women get the organs. This is what, and this was, this was throughout the entire everywhere. What happened was when their progeny went to the cities and they started getting deformities, it was like, oh, it wasn't meat. It wasn't meat that was the problem. It was the fact that they weren't eating real food. And so their bodies mm -hmm. had to then adjust to the fact that they weren't eating real food. And because they didn't have any nutrition, they were having male, they were having a uh, male absorption. And because of that, they, they weren't getting any nutrients. Yep. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so this is a case study, you guys. This is somebody who went out, tested, saw, took pictures, and then did a comparison. I can see it in my family. Mm -hmm. I'm on oh my dad, I'm Gullah Geechee. My grandmother and my greats, my great aunts and them, y'all, they in the eighties and nineties. They still out gardening. But my dad's generation, I said to my I said to my old man, my dad's generation, they okay. are they are in diseased states because they eat processed food. My grandmother, I was raised hunting, fishing, trapping, and growing our food. We we and now everybody's going to the store, even though we still grow our food in Florida. But I'm saying like our family, now we go to the stores and stuff like that. There is a difference and you can see it in your own family. And the and the thing is is that people have a condition that their elders don't know nothing because they ate a slave mm -hmm. diet and that's not true it just shows that you don't know your own culture because a lot of the foods for those of us who do have african roots a lot of the foods that we were eating came from africa why who you think they came why do you think they came and got us and i know this because i'm the minister of, of information for gully on union i have to do this for a whole organization in sierra leone which i'll be in three weeks i'll be there in three weeks and here in, in, in North America. And the reality is people don't even know their real history. They just yep. get online and listen to all these quote unquote master teachers lie to you. Yep. They ain't never been to Africa. They don't speak no African language. They can't read the Nigeria. They can't read the hieroglyphs. They are lying to you. How are you gonna say Egyptians don't eat, uh, Egyptians were vegan and they show, they painted themselves <laughs> eating fish. And for all the people who say about the African culture, like Eastern African tribes, the lawyer, Kenya, all them, they didn't eat meat, but they did drink blood. And they ate a lot of fermented goat milk. So if you want to talk exactly. about African tribes, then we got to start talking about drinking blood again. Let's and eat, and eating insects. So, and then, you know. Yes. Like, yep. Let's talk about the indigenous people. Okay, so <clears throat> if you all know the, the, the history of Gullah Geechee, Gullah Geechee we have in, uh, inbred within us. Uh, some of the, it's not a large percentage, but we do have a lot of the First Nations as well. Cherokees and the similar the Yamasi. Okay, so listen, I, I have not met not one of them on my cousins who, who are in tribes. I have not met one of them that has ever been vegan. Not one. Yep. When the colonizers got here, they killed all the buffalo so that they could starve them out. They didn't burn all the plants. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's move into Let's move into what the gurus aren't telling people because let's you know, go. Honestly, let's go. it gets it gets sickening to yes. know some of these people. I, I mean, we know them. So and so to see them get yeah. in front of TV shows and their IG lives and doing all these sister circles and all this fake ass shit. To see them doing all that, and then to know that they're eating meat behind the scenes. You know what I'm <laughs> if, yeah. And you can tell because every everybody that goes vegan gets extremely skinny. They lose yep. all their weight. They go through this stripping phase, which shows you that you're not you're not able to maintain. People say, "Oh, you're detoxing," but you're not. It's stupid because <laughs> it's stupid because <laughs> you're going from eating a, having a macro like a like meat, a complete food, and then going from that to eating plants. And if the plants mm -hmm. were actually if the plants were actually giving you uh, giving you what you needed, you wouldn't lose that weight. This is the point. Yep. 
mean, know? unless you're 300 pounds, but yeah, you know. Unless you're 300 pounds. I mean, you would get to, obviously, you would get to a sustainable weight, but it's like, for those yeah. of us like myself, I didn't need to lose no weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Right. I lost my boobs. I lost my butt. I lost my skin. I lost my cycle. Y'all, it was mm -hmm. like a fucking reaper in this bitch. I was just losing everything. You know? Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, when I was when I was uh, <clears throat> vegan, because you know I told y'all I was uh, vegan for ten years. I literally like created more womb issues. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on gathering the proper documentation, but as far as where I'm at right now, I I highly suspect that me being a vegan literally created a fibroid. Yeah. Literally created a fibroid and continue to help promote the growth of that. And that's why it's really important. It's so many layers, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So many layers. And you got to think, people talk about ancestral knowledge, but going back to what I said, we're not, we're not armchair anthropologists. Right. If you are not out in the field, mm -hmm. literally, and, and I'm not talking about sticking your feet on the ground because you can get parasites like that. <laughs> <laughs> We'll talk about parasites. You'll get parasites like that, even though you're vegan. If you step your damn foot outside, honey, you're going to get some damn parasites on your feet. Exactly. Okay? If you are not out here literally doing the groundwork, you are going to be flawed in your understanding. Okay? There are plants that can literally take you out of here. Literally, in the raw form, can take you out of here. Okay? So we need to really get into the habit of actually utilizing the information that we're coming across and actually going outside and testing that shit out for ourselves. Mm. That's, the, that's the best thing that you can do. That is the best thing that you can do. You are um, ordering herbs online. We talked about this before and, and sea moss and all sorts of stuff. Sustainability, quality, quantity, accessibility is very important. Even when it comes to veganism, you do not know what you, you purchasing this particular herb could be causing elsewhere across the world. Mm -hmm. You don't know the conditions of the people who had to harvest those things for you. You don't know what you're supporting. We talk about capitalistic this and the white men this, but we are literally, we are literally supporting death in a, in a lot of cases when we're purchasing a lot of these products. Yes, we are. Okay. Once again, you don't know what's all in these products could be contaminated with a lot of endocrine disruptors. I always talk about that. Endocrine health. A lot of these plants can contain these particular chemicals that drop from out of the sky, that were grown in terrible soil conditions. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so I say all that to say is that not only just do the research and read books, get out there, y'all. Get yes. out there and test it for yourself. Try it on yourself. Keep documentations of what's going on with you and other people, okay? That is the best thing that you can possibly do. Test it like you don't know what's going to work. Because a lot of yes. people a lot of people don't know how to be. They don't know how to just be just straight line with it. They'll say, they'll go on Google and say, what plants have B12? And then now all of a sudden mm -hmm. they're experts on plants that give B12. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't ask a question like that. That's not actual research. Right. You know, you have to test it. If anything, you want to say, why can't I get plants from B12? So that mm -hmm. you can get both sides of the story and not just one yep. aspect of it. But people yep. will say, oh, I know veganism works, so I'm testing it now because it's working for me. But how do you know that? What standards do you have that you are using to measure your health? Because that's what a scientist does. When my yep. client, somebody said, could it be elimination? Listen, I did case studies of 35 to 55 people several times in which I put them through a detox. And then I also had some of them come in that were my clients. They came in to see me and I had to test their gig cycle. I, I measured their elimination. I measured everything. What I noticed is that majority of the people were running and doing detoxes and they don't have anybody like uh, Mr. Adam here or Ms. Boone here. They don't have anybody that's actually that knows to calculate the documents and everything like that. They take the detox, they eliminate during the detox, and then they don't eliminate on their own afterwards. Mm -hmm. and that's what I found to be very consistent with people who are just running and doing detoxes. They don't have proper regulations in their body. And that's the point. The point is, 
if you just went vegan and you say it worked so great and it worked so well, like the brother said, what were the what was the pre existing? You have to know that because mm -hmm. if you don't know that, you won't be able to really say, okay, now I've hit the balance now, mm -hmm. and this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm noticing. You know, so you talk, talk about elimination. Yeah, elimination. However, even with exercise, he he has clients that he trains. I had clients that I trained. We saw the same thing, even mm. with them exercising. Even with yeah, them. I mean, it may help some people, but I mean, some people just have chronic, you know, chronic. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just chronic. You know what I mean? Exercise ain't gonna help it. Yeah. So. Yep, that is correct. Yeah, exactly. and, um, this is another thing too. A lot of y'all favorites, they're eating meat behind the scene. You yeah. wonder why you wonder why they get off of IG and Facebook for a while and they just pop up off the scene and they showing them working out and shit like that. A lot of them are eating meat. Mm -hmm. How do we know this? <laughs> we know this because before we started, we hit some of these people up. Mm -hmm. And they did express to us, yeah, I'm not vegan no more. But when we go to their IG page promote it they still got their website up selling vegan products selling vegan supplements selling vegan meal plans posting pictures of uh, uh fruit smoothie bowls and stuff that they're doing as if that's all they eat. oh this is why i ate today i ate some rice i ate this and this and they still not being transparent with y'all and it's so crazy because they can still make sales and do it yeah, that'd be for yeah. real i mean like that's not gonna stop your sales because you're not vegan no more yeah, it's not. That's it crazy. It's not. Yeah. But that's what happens when you're lying, though. See, when you're lying and you're not being real, you you start making stuff up in your head, and you 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 already on the fake scale, so you just do mm -hmm. more fake stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he said, "Okay, my kidneys did filtrate better eating meat." Mm hmm After you just said that she was plant based and felt wonderful, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I know somebody what asked, what "What's the we, what's the best ahead, diet?" Oh, best. What's the best form diet? Is that the question? Yeah. Oh, am I supposed to be waiting to the end to ask the questions or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's wait. Let's, 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 <laughs> All right, let's, my let's, bad. We're about to wrap it up and get to the end to ask the questions. So we can yeah. do this. However, um, okay. go ahead, Mama. I'm just saying, like she said, your favorite guru, gurus are eating meat behind the scenes. <clears throat> hit them they all are. Up when when I first when I when I said okay, this not working after I verified it wasn't working, I was like, all right. I got to be real with everybody because a sister yep. said she didn't see me. She followed me for three or four years and she didn't see me pushing veganism, but I was, though. I was. I was purposing to be more balanced with it, but I was pushing it and saying that it was the best because I was doing it, okay? Yep. And the reality is I said to myself, man, people are going to be mad at me, but I got to tell people because I can't let people die like that. That was my thinking. Yes. I came on, I said it, then I hit this sister. She was like, me too. So then we was like, oh my gosh, for real? And so then we're like, okay, let's hit up everybody else and give them a chance. They Let's give them a chance. Yes. To, to admit. Redemption. Redemption. To, to, to agree. You said what? Redemption. Redemption. Let's give them a chance. And you know what they said? A lot of them was like, no, I'm fine. And then some yep. of them was like, yeah, I don't eat. I don't eat. Uh, I'm not plant-based anymore because... I noticed that I was having issues, but I still promote it because I think it's the best. <laughs> or, or they be, or they were being really fickle. They were like, they, like how she was saying, we can look at pictures and see something has changed, and we hit them up. So, are you still vegan? Or hey, we're we're talking to you know we're gonna start you know being honest with the people and tell them you know X Y Z is not working. To, what do you think? Oh, well, you know, if some people, you know, if they need to eat fish, they need to eat fish. No, I asked you. I literally <laughs> asked you, are you vegan? Are you still vegan? Are you vegetarian? What are you? Oh, well, no, some people, that I mean, they still, I mean, if some people need to not be vegan, then so be it. That's not what I asked you, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask you that. They just I didn't ask you that. And then the thing is, is that a lot of them, too, are not real experts in the field. And this is another thing. It's smoke and mirrors. All right. And I do my best not to call names because I don't have to be petty like that. But sometimes it just be like, honestly, it really it don't even be them. It be the their followers. Yeah. The lettuce warriors. The lettuce warriors be out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be out here doing the most. It's like. 
no, X Y. I mean, fighting like they on some beehive type stuff, and I'd be like, dang, they don't pay y'all. Like, what are you doing, <laughs> girl? The lettuce warriors are real out here. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> for real though. You know, and it's just like, it's like, hey Adam, when you come back in, let me know. It's like, um, just say hey or something. But it's just like. It's like y'all the the people make it hard because yes. they have indoctrinated so hard, so hard, and they have then told their family, and so now their reputation is online. And yep. because they're not doing the real work that it takes to admit you're wrong, then you know it, it's like because they're not doing the real work that it takes. I had to bring them back in because they're not doing the real work that it takes to admit that they're wrong. You know what I'm saying? It becomes a it becomes a problem uh, later on. Go, go ahead. I'm trying to make sure. Yeah. And and then too, it's like if if you can't be transparent with the people, the community that you're serving, and the black community that needs to be healed, mm -hmm. and you're not being honest with what you're doing behind the scene. Number one, it's gonna always come up. Astrologically speaking, it's gonna fucking come up. Okay, whether somebody brings it out of you or somebody sees you and you slip up and they catch you, you know how social media <laughs> is now. Though. Like <laughs> it's gonna come out. And this is another thing too. Going back to what I said about how we judge about Christianity, you're supposed to question everything and everybody. Mm -hmm. Period. Nobody is is exempt from this. I don't care who they are. Nobody is exempt from that. Period. A lot of y'all, excuse y'all, if y'all got any kids listening, because it's, it's, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take it there. A lot of, a lot of niggas, because they've been vegan for a long time, don't have enough testosterone, and they, they don't have the confidence nor the strength to question another nigga that's telling them about some shit that's not really working for them. They ain't got enough strength to question that nigga. Mm -hmm. Okay, another sister got so many womb issues, and she and she got mommy issues, and she looking for a mama. A lot of us are looking for mamas because yes, we got yes. mama issues, mm -hmm. and we look towards the these elderly master teacher women and stuff like that, looking for that energy exchange and connection because you haven't dealt with with your shadow shit. Okay, your estrogen is out of whack. You estrogen dominant. Mm -hmm. from being vegan, hence mm -hmm. fibroids, sick and shit like that, got your hormones all fucked up, got your mm -hmm. endocrine system all fucked up, kale causes thyroid issues. Okay? Just a, just an example. Especially you, you doing all of this stuff, and you you, you, you say? say, oh yeah, for sure, especially when it's raw. Yeah. yeah. You, you, as a woman, are not woman enough to question another woman. Mm. But it all goes back to what, yeah, and it all goes back to people literally maximizing and capitalizing off of our traumas. Our own people are doing that. That's not we got to get out this old oh, white man doing this, and we still pushing the shit. We are still pushing the shit. These people would not be where they are if it wasn't for the community. Mm. Period. So, Period. so. People who, who cannot be transparent, these gurus and these teachers who cannot be transparent, they are literally showing you what they think of not only themselves, but what they think about you because you put them in that position and they feel like they can't be transparent with you. That shows a lot about their character and it shows a lot of their shadow shit that they still need to work on. They're not no master teacher. <laughs> Last thing I want to say as far as like that... Um, is that for me is that like you said we need to question these people and uh, two things one we really like you said we really got to do that work when it comes to that parental thing I know people like having elders I know people like being in circles and stuff like that but I'm gonna be real with y'all I, I I see right through it I, I really just be surprised like how are these sisters oh sister queen this and that and it's like how are y'all what you know <laughs> Just to, just to not even change when you come back from those trees. Just to not even be different. Mm -hmm. To be the same trifling ass person you was before. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. It's like people aren't even seeing that part. And then the second thing is, 
again, like I was like I was saying before, they're not educated. A lot of these people are not educated. These chefs, they don't know nutrition. They are just putting things together that taste good and remind them of meat because they low key are craving it. <laughs> That's why that's why everybody be online trying to get all these recipes. Vegan oh, reels. <laughs> How dare you? Vegan ribs. Just don't eat. Just don't eat them. Give me a vegan rib and you're gonna get hit in your ribs. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not the same. That's equivalent to trying to kill me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I bite into it, it tastes like bread. Get out of here. I'm so tired of that. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have yeah. to definitely go into that next time. The corn yeah. and the bread. Oh, that's my thing. Like they don't want you eat meat, but they don't mind you eating corn and all this GMO other stuff. I don't understand. Yes. Yes. And all these other things, you know, going back to what I was saying before. Um, and we'll touch on this. Way worse than me. On this before. Oh yeah, for sure. And that's the thing. Everything that's plant based is not equal. Okay. Right. A lot of these plants that y'all are eating in abundance, in raw form, the quality, all this stuff, and and then also through the variety of those things. Okay. When you, if anybody grows their own stuff or forage, you got to get into all those things. A lot of shit is really creating a lot of these health issues. A lot of these things are literally creating issues where your hormonal system is out of balance and it continues to promote that. You wonder why you've been eating like this and I'm not seeing no changes and I'm still doing this and this and this and this. And that just goes to show everything is not equal. Okay. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So uh, let's, let's, let's go into the comments and, and, um, Let's see what y'all are talking about in here. Somebody said, uh, people who said they were, they've been vegan all their life um, probably low-key have health issues. Let me just tell y'all this. They be lying. They be lying. And, and it's like we forget people be lying. They be lying. They ain't been vegan all their life. I know somebody who I used to train with, and he promoted a vegan diet. And he said that he was raised vegan. But this man was tearing up fish in the background like <laughs> his life depended on it because it did <laughs> at the same time promoting mm -hmm. at the same time promoting to his clients that he mm -hmm. was vegan yeah. he was eating fish so these people be lying and, and the thing is that we, we assume that they're telling the truth but they're mm -hmm. not one of the, one of these most these most famous chefs out here. I ain't even gonna call her name, cause she a hater by nature though. Anyway, <laughs> one of these most famous chefs out here caught buying meat. This was years ago. That's right. Let's go beef and beans. And the thing is, is that last thing is that people don't even understand. Like a lot of the plant foods, you gotta sprout that. You gotta soak Back. that. Oh yeah, Back. for and sure. These people aren't doing that. No, no, go definitely ahead. not. So this is something somebody sent me one day. It was like a hundred grams of beef. I mean, that was like 100 grams of beans, 100 grams of beef give me the same amount of protein. Listen, y'all, do you know how much 100 grams of beans is? 100 grams not, of beef is, is first off, the, the picture that they put for beef is way too big. That's, right. that's not 100 grams of beef. 100 grams of beef is about probably uh, a quarter of that size. Yes. Yeah. And that uh, 100 grams of beans is not five beans. So it's like they trying yeah. to get you with like picture imagery. Like this is misleading as hell. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. 100 grams of beans do have the same amount of protein, but man, it, you would have to eat cups and cups and cups of beans to get to that. So and your stomach and digestion will never allow you to do that. And that's the yep. thing. Especially that's not true. every day. Not every day, because listen, plants don't want to be eaten. They have things yes. on them, okay? And oh, you would know this if you were actually gardening and growing your food. And that's a good point. <laughs> Speaking of plants not want to be eaten, that's why some plants develop those little sticky things on them. Those nettles. little pricks. Nettles. Uh, they, 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 nettles. They grow those because they got tired of being <laughs> ate. <laughs> yes. They do, they do that because to, pre to prevent uh, herbivores from eating them. Yes, so, and this is the thing. If you're out in the wild, <laughs> because I know because I'm fucking out there, excuse my French, you're not going to eat that stuff in in a one sitting in by pounds. You know, you got so many people eating, oh, here's my salad bowl for the day. I'm eating a pound of... Y'all, uh, you can... Birds you would cannot, eat that before that. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot find kale in the wild. We talk about ancestral... This, this is the thing. Think about it. If these teachers are telling you ancest our ancestors ate this shit, but the foods that they're telling you to eat our ancestors did not eat because it's not indigenous. It's not a it's not an ancient variety. 
You cannot find spinach in the wild. You cannot find romaine lettuce out in the wild. Okay? You cannot find chard out in the wild. The, the herbs that are outside, the leafy greens that are outside, you can literally eat one little small cup that can literally equal the amount of nutritional profile of a pound of some shit you're going to get in the store. Yeah. You wouldn't need to eat a whole pound of it because it's so nutrient dense in that one small amount. Mm -hmm. And due to what they were saying, the chemical compositions and stuff, your body would not be able to tolerate it. Go, go outside, go outside right now and find some mullein and literally wash it off raw and eat a whole salad of mullein. Do it. Do it. And I'll send you a thousand dollars. Like Luke said, do it. I'll send you a thousand dollars. Do it. Do it. You extra fool. <laughs> no, so it's like it's like people don't again, people don't mm -hmm. have the right education, they don't have the right skills to be able to determine what is working for them and, and mm -hmm. they should seek what's you should always seek your you know, to, to be healthy. It's just that you can't assume just because you're doing something and you feel good that it's it's good, okay? Look, like people who take crack, I'm sure it makes them feel good. Right. I've never seen anybody say that it doesn't. Yep. They do crazy stuff for it. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. You know? But that doesn't mean it's good for them. Mm -hmm. Not to be Kanye, but that doesn't mean it's good for them. <laughs> okay? mm -hmm. that, that doesn't mean that you should do it. Um, and, and, and it's okay just because it makes you feel good. All right? That's not a good yep. time. It's a nice aspect, but it don't really mean much. All right? And so let's go into, y'all can go ahead and ask some questions. We're going to yeah. wrap this up. Part two, we will be coming out with a part two because people need to see this. People need to hear this information. And um, Yeah, it's just scratching the surface, for real. We didn't even. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's sure. just scratching the surface. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because sure. people out here are really on another one. Like I said, yeah. the lettuce warriors. They be out here thinking. Yeah. Just because they have indoctrinated themselves well enough that they know something. And they don't. And that's the thing. You're talking to three people who actually test this out on other people as well as themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Because before, because before I was testing it out on other people, I'm telling you, I was saying the same thing. Yep. Be raw, yep. go raw. I mean, you just you got yeah. it, you start applying it to real people, it just don't work like that. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. And, like it's, and it's so layered. Like I said in the disclaimer, you got accessibility, you got environmental factors. Everybody has different stress levels, availability, I'm all no these pain. things, resources. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So brother. I'm gonna say one more thing about the vitamin A thing. Yeah. And I did see somebody else say it was something about smoking. Oh, if, about smoking, you just need more vitamin C. You got more free radicals in your body. So, but anyway, so what you just saying about absorbability and availability? So mm -hmm. the, these people need more vitamin A. So, meaning if you already getting it, if you think you're getting vitamin A from plants, you actually need more. If you a smoker, if you have high copper levels, iron. If you have a deficiency in any vitamins A or E, um, if you sweat a lot, stress, cold weather, all that means you need more vitamin A. It's so many. It's not just like it's so many things that determine your vitamin intake. You know, it ain't just about like what you eat. Yeah. Drink alcohol, ulcers, like all those things. You know, can determine you know how many vitamins you need, how much you don't need all that. Right. 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 I just want to say this one little piece real quick, too. With the lettuce warriors, you got a lot of people out here on some womb healing, like, ninja fake shit. Listen, to the there's nothing wrong with going on, you know, trips and going to these womb healing circles and all this other stuff. And I'll continue to say this. You cannot heal your womb by just going on a vegan diet alone or just changing your diet. Mm -hmm. Nor wearing, wearing waist beads. And these are tools. They have the purpose. Waste beads, you doing yoni steaming, you, you know, talk journaling, talking all talking all about, about what's going on emotionally. Blah, blah, blah. None of these things are gonna get to the nitty-gritty of where you need to be at. It's not. It is a whole it is a it is a full holistic thing that you gotta do. Yep. You have to. We are not we are not monolithic. She may have some issues that we both can't can see similarities on, but she she has a different she has a different she has a different uh, uh, makeup, spiritually speaking and emotionally speaking, based on her birth chart. That is specific and unique to this sister. 
that brother has his own unique specific birth chart that's his those are his, his energy registers and so within that we can see similarities as a community but when it gets down to the nitty-gritty of truly healing yourself you have to get individualized you have to do what's speci specific to you okay you have to and so once again, it's important. We, we, we are social beings, but at the same time, you're going to die alone. You came into this world alone. You got to get back to that. Okay? It's really pushing for us to get out, out of these ideologies, these illusionary shits, and getting back to the real shit. This is what our ancestors did. They was out in the wild getting wild herbs and shit. They were out raising their own animals, okay? They were astronomers, astrologers, okay? doing all of these things and so I, i'm just wanting to see more of this in the in the uh culture of women women health that's all <clears throat> did you want to say somebody said what are your thoughts on taking supplements uh i mean it depends <laughs> on which ones i mean uh most of them are synthetic though i can tell you that you know we kind of touched on that mm -hmm. a little earlier but you have to understand this too our vitamins work together they they, they you know they work in pairs they work synonymously together, especially your fat soluble vitamins. So yep. you can't just take vitamin A by itself because <laughs> it throws off vitamin D. You can't just yep. take vitamin D by itself because it throws off A and E. Mm. So when you do things like that, you kinda you know, you kinda go in balance. And sometimes, like for example, you take a lot of beta carotene, too much beta carotene will stop the creation of vitamin A. So, mm. you know, it, it just it just gets, you know, it gets real technical with when you start going into supplements, but the reality of it is most of them synthetic anyway. So it's not yeah. the same thing. Right. Yeah. Um, and my take on the supplements, you don't you don't <clears throat> know what, what's in there. I, I remember seeing a, a while back where um Walmart Walmart got under a lot of a lot of scrutiny because they did some testings on their supplements and it was filled with like cornstarch and shit like that. Because the people that make supplements not nutritionists. Right. Exactly. And like we said earlier, they're entrepreneurs. They you, any, anybody on yeah. this live can come out with their own. Anybody in the comments, y'all can come out with your own supplement tomorrow. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. Any yeah. of y'all. You can come you out with your own supplement tomorrow. You do not have to have no papers, no nothing. Yes, you don't. So, you don't know what's in it. You don't know the people who are making it. Energy is everything. This person could literally be wishing death. Oh, I, I, I wish death on whoever takes takes this pill. You don't know what type of energy they're putting into those things. Right, that's one hundred percent. Um, yeah. So she said, she said Africa isn't monolithic either. The cultures and the diets are vastly different. So yes, she that we must eat like the ancestors. We have to ask which ones, and two. And two, you know, we have to, you're, you're right, it is vastly different. However, there are some similarities that within the the bigger the bigger cultures, right? And, and I'll show you all this when I go to Sierra Leone in uh, two weeks. I'll be there. I'm going to talk to some elders in the village that I'm part of. I'm gonna go to, uh, a lot of people and let y'all see the indigenous schools are there, which a lot of us have ancestry to, like I said, from the Gullah Geechee, because of the migration patterns that happen when the Gullah Geechee went from the south and went up to the north, which a lot of people from the up north have ties back down to the south because of that migration, right? Yep. So a lot of us do have a lot of lineage in specific places there. And guys, like, they don't, they're not vegan. I can tell you that right now. I have yet to see somebody who is like, no meat, no, I haven't seen that. I have not seen it. Mm -hmm. If it exists, it's probably so remote. It's not a wide thing. I, I, you haven't I, seen what? I haven't seen any uh, African that's vegan in a sense of like that has, that's something that's culturally that's been passed down. I haven't seen I don't that. think there's any cultures that were all vegan. Mm -hmm. you know all vegan, no, I don't think, because you got to also think about it too. When you start talking about culture, vegetables can't even, vegetables and fruit can't even grow everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. You know, there's just some places you just can't get good vegetation. And they no. use the bones, the skin, the organs. They use, we use everything in that animal. <clears throat> it was an honorable thing to use everything in that animal, to not let it go to waste. Your, your mm -hmm. favorite, I, we have to mention, uh, beautiful, about your favorite. We said this before in, in another show, y'all. Dr. Yep. Africa showed organ meats yep. as a way to supplement for certain vitamins and minerals. 
And, and liver is a superfood. <laughs> and yes, and to to get over certain ailments. Y'all, Dr. Africa, and it was recommended by Dick Gregory. Look, mm -hmm. look, y'all. Come on, come on, y'all. Don't you think if, if that wasn't if that wasn't right, do you think Dick Gregory would have oh no, brother? I don't know. Do you think that he would have put that out? Do you think that that was a, a typo? Do you oh, think that was a mistake? You know Do you think that was a mistake, y'all? Go back and look. Is it, this book was published. What was this book published? It was published in 1983. 1989, 1993, 1998, 2004. Y'all. Different editions. Y'all. Come on now. Okay, so look. Parasites don't make you crave meat and sugar, sweetheart. I don't know who told you that. It's your, it sounds like you're parroting what somebody else said. And even if you don't agree with the vegan diet, a whole food, plant-based diet, there's a, a raw whole food, you you missed the whole show. Yeah, see, she came in a little late. Yeah. That's, I saw, that's, that's okay. Yeah. Listen, okay. sir, you, you got to do some, you got to do some more. I, I need to see a study on that from you, not from nobody else on JSTOR. I need to see you. I need to see which how you know that. Because there's no way. But I see what she's saying, though. She's saying, I, I heard that. I mean, because it's kind of true. You're saying that the parasites eat the food and you're good, and that makes you more hungry. I mean, but that could happen even without me, though. But y'all, right. this thing, parasites is everywhere. Why don't, why don't people read? Y'all, you can get parasites from your fruits and vegetables. They are mm -hmm. everywhere. Everywhere. It's so everywhere. hard. Everywhere. We all have parasites. It's all about the levels. That's why I said it's multi-layer. It's about the levels. Yes. Just like with chemicals, exposure, limiting your exposure, limiting your parasites to where they are not <laughs> going extreme, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to get out this notion that you can be parasite-free. No one can be parasite-free living in this third-dimensional world. I'm sorry to break it, break it to you and tell you the truth. Is that you can kill them all, though. Go ahead, sir. You can try to kill them all, but you can't. You can't. You know. You'll, you'll, be, be, <laughs> you'll be. You'll be trying to do it. You'll be trying to do it every day. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? It, it's too. It actually comes into be that that OCD disinfectant type of type of ideology where everybody <laughs> they got to be clean on the inside, and it's like, yep. how you know we don't have a certain amount of parasites to do their job, just like fungus. You thought like what was hereditary? Theory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't kill all the parasites. I'm not saying get rid of them all. Yeah, but you got to be specific when you coming up in here with that kind of stuff, sir. You can't be, you can't you can't come after the fact and then try to clarify. Yeah, we're all so, in. You missed he missed he missed a little bit though. So yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, yeah he trying to be nice. No, fuck that. You need to be clear when you make a statement. So um, listen, what we're we're gonna have a, a part two, guys, and uh, we'll let you know what we'll be talking about in that part two. Mm -hmm. However, um. Let's let's do this. Let we're gonna go starting with Miss Boone and then Mr. Um, Adam. What do you guys want to leave off with, and okay. where can we find you, and how can we connect with you? Okay, so for the people that got in late, I'm Miss Boone. You can find me on www.llpnatural.com. Llpnatural.com. It's in the description uh, on my IG. A lot of my work is on Facebook. So if you go to my IG, you don't see all my content. I do astrology. I do nutrition. I do herbalism, foraging, um, content, comedy content. Because <laughs> some people think I'm funny, but I'm really just stating facts and being truthful. <laughs> so you can see all those things on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, my name is Karen Boone, K-R-E-N-B-O-O-N-E. -O -O -E. All that's there. Check out my website. Like I said, I do nutrition consultations, herbal consultations. I do astrology, uh, Saturn return, transits, all that stuff. I tied in together. I'm working on continuing to study medical astrology. So that's something else that I'm working on. So I do offer a little bit of that as well. Um, and what I want to leave off on is that we don't know everything. Nobody in this health game knows everything about the body. The body is an extreme intelligence. There's still a lot of things that, that we don't know, that a lot of scientists do not know. Mm -hmm. Period. So don't forget that. Do not forget that, okay? Also, do not forget that your own body is intelligent to yourself for yourself. 
Start listening to your body, okay? Start doing what your body is requesting you to do, even if it goes against the grain. Yep. If it goes against what this person said, what that, if your body is telling you to do something, if it's of higher order, you know, there's levels to this shit. Don't even get stuck on that. For anybody to come, don't even get stuck on that. Listen to your body, okay? And do what your body needs. You never know. I hear stories all the time. A lot of people, oh, if I didn't do this, if I didn't change this, if I didn't start eating meat, I could have died or I could have done this or da, 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 da. You never know. Like a lot of people be dying. Like a lot of y'all teachers who be having these different events out of country and stuff like that, people be dying on their <laughs> People be dying. You just don't <laughs> hear about it. They Their family be doing their ass. Their families be literally fall, filing lawsuits against them because their their people have died going to this vegan retreat. Real talk. That's a reality. And it's not just within the black community. It's within the white community, too. At Everybody yeah. at large. All these vegan gurus and teachers at large. And even doctors. Even people who have MDs after their names, but they're promoting veganism, this and this. People have died in their care. Mm -hmm. So don't forget that. Don't think that you are above anybody. Don't think that you are just, oh, well, I'm a millionaire. I got all this money or I got all these followers. Don't think you can't get knocked off your fucking horse. Don't think that your ego don't need to be checked. Don't think that you you don't you don't you're not dealing with any type of character flaw. Don't exactly. think that you can't be questioned. And so that's all I'm gonna say. I'm done. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Adam. The nutrition is on all platforms. Uh, and another thing too, I heard just what you just the last thing I was saying about the doctor thing. A lot of people say that you know all these MDs on my timeline telling me don't eat meat and all this. Listen, doctors don't study food. Yep. I mean, that's just, and if they, if they, they may have had one or two classes in nutrition, maybe it's not, you know, you know, so that's not really a um, a credible source, really. Right. Um, but like I said, I'm Adam Nutritionist on all platforms: IG, YouTube, Facebook, and that's it. What do you? What would you like people to uh, leave off on? What do you want to leave off on? Oh, no, that was it. That's all I had to say about the, uh, okay. the medical doctors. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. that's... I'm going to save everything else for the next one. Indeed, indeed. Okay, well, uh, you guys, my name is Joya Maria, traditionally Usa Dami Lola. And I have a book, Self-Care Regulation. Yeah. All right? The Practical Guide to Measure Your Health. Why do I talk so much crap about methodology? Because we don't have to go off of dogmas and doctrines and believe what other people say we actually can test it ourselves. And I have a self-care tool guide. The link is in my bio. Go to the mm -hmm. middle and that's the free section, okay? The book is in ebook form and it's in physical form, okay? You can get the book. This is how it looks, all right? And I, I talk on a number of things in this book. I also have recipes awesome. things like that in here. However, I talk on a number of things in this book, some basic regulations that you, everybody needs to have regulating their body. These are the nine regulations for you to be able to regulate yourself, okay? Get the book. And the second thing I'll say is there is a self-care tool as well that goes along with the book. You can literally document what you're doing and determine what is working and what is not working for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And it will help you to become more into, uh, it, like, when you are going to, let's say, a trainer like Adam, you can say, hey, this is what I'm doing. And, and he will also have his own measurements. However, at least you know what you can do, okay? At least you know what's going on and, and what your body's been going through. You can go to him and say, hey, this is what I've been doing. When you go to Miss Boone, you can say, hey, this is what I noticed. This is what I've been doing. To any of your practitioners, okay? You can utilize this book. The physical copy is $24.99 and the ebook is $19.99, okay? It's, it's, it's on sale for here, so I'll, I'll put it on sale. Um, however, guys, like really understand that it is up to you to ask the right questions. It is up to you to do your own research and test out what's yep. going on. You can test the information. You don't have to believe. And that's the thing. You don't have to believe. You can test it out. All right. So the last thing I want people to understand, uh, to leave off on is that if somebody that tells you that they are a healer or a guru or whatever, if you ask them for their methodology and they can only give you testimonials of their product, 
and they can't tell you that they're training clients. They can't tell you that these are the people I work with. They can't, they can't show you that people that they have worked with, not just people they talked to one, two, three, you know, one time. And then they bought a detox from, I'm talking about people they have worked with. Then you need to leave. <laughs> okay. You need to understand that person don't know what they're talking about. They are just regurgitating information. Just like most people do. All right. Don't fall for the bull. Cause we've been through it. I was vegan. Yep. It damn near took my life. Seriously. I'm not even playing games on that. So that's all I got to say for that one, guys. Make sure you text 251-572-9892. 251-572-9892. You can go to the link in my bio or you can just check out my bio on IG. You can see the number right there. Text me. I will let you guys know when, you, when we're going live again. Obviously, we'll have our flyers, so look out for that. We really appreciate everybody for coming. Yes, on. thank you, y'all. Thank you. Yep, appreciate it. For sure. Thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was excellent. We're going to the last disclaimer. I went through 19 disclaimers before we started this. Mm -hmm. If you do not listen to the entire show, if you don't listen to the show and you come in anybody's shit, talking shit in the comments, you will not be saved. You will not be saved. <laughs> not because be because saved. We, we took the necessary measures to cover so many things. So don't come in here trying to defend, tag whoever you need to tag. But we, we will not tolerate any disrespect, period. Period. Okay? And if we want to get petty, if I if you looking crazy in your profile pictures, if you got any crazy ass pictures, <laughs> I may just make a meme out of your ass. I may make a meme out of your ass. I don't want nobody talking about, oh, you're supposed to be conscious and that's petty. You're supposed to be a queen and you're sitting in your chair. <laughs> I'm going to consciously go off. I'm coming. Like that. <laughs> this me, warriors. Say something. <clears throat> so, that's it. All right. Okay, well, like, a, uh, this this live will be saved, and we're also going to upload it on uh, YouTube as well. So, you will be able to come back and, and view everything. I don't know if you'll be able to see the comments, but you can view, and you can share it with other people. Yes. Again, make sure you're following us. All right, Adam, the nutritionist on all platforms. Mm -hmm. I'll put my stuff in the, in the comments, y'all. Okay, right. and then join your Maria on all platforms, all right? Facebook, you can't find me, but you can find Ms. Boone, and you can find Adam, the nutritionist. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, my Facebook ain't for everybody, okay? It's not, so. <laughs> if you've made the cut, congratulations. And she is so real, y'all. Y'all don't, that's why it's so funny, because she is dead ass serious. You I'm cannot find her on Facebook. Don't do it. So, is is the video going to be on Facebook? Eh, it'll be on YouTube, and then that way you'll have a shareable link, and you can put it on yeah. the comments. Yeah. I followed y'all already. Send me the link. Um, I'll post about it, and then you can follow it from there. How about that? All right. So Some yeah. people body can take it. Some can't. It's a DNA thing. Okay. Yeah, you tripping. You don't even know what you're talking about. All right, so uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. And thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, 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 that's the thing. Did you oh, did you okay. want people to like? Can people like send questions? Can people send questions? Maybe like questions we can like discuss those on on the next or yeah. topics you may want to hear us. Yeah. So like if you, yeah, if yeah. you guys have particular topics that you guys want us to discuss or go go more in depth <clears throat> on or questions, please send that to us because like like you know we said we're gonna do a second part of this. So yeah, right. that'll give us plenty of content too. Yeah, and, and I didn't avoid the Facebook thing. You can find Adam's nutritionist, and you can find Miss Karen on Facebook. You just can't find me, <laughs> y'all. I'm saying. telling. Look, listen, y'all gotta understand, y'all. We go crazy on Facebook, and if anybody in here know me, I know some people. I've been look, y'all. I've been roasting niggas since the 2000s, before the 2000s. We go crazy on Facebook. So if you, I'm telling y'all, like I, I, I like that shit. Come with it. Come with it. So yeah, come no, with it. So I wasn't trying to annoy. I wasn't trying to avoid it. I just know you can't. Find it. So okay, y'all, we got this. Hit us up. We got y'all.